Welcome back to the Hockey Shop. Goalie Utopia down here with Cam Matwiv. Uh, we're still in the time of the summer where, you know, just the way things have gone in this new world with shipping and supply chains and everything where we have new stuff, even though it's August. And one of them is the new CCM Eflex 5 Pro and Pro Lite models. Mm. A lot of people remember there was supposed to be an Eflex 5 that launched last year. Those same supply chain issues basically led to it not launching. The good news is they went back to the drawing board and actually improved some things uh, for the new models, including durability. Uh, and I can verify that right up to the National Hockey League level, talking to guys like Thatcher Demko, who used this stick, um, noticed a significant increase in durability and a significant reduction in breakage uh, with the new e when he switched over to the new Eflex 5 Pro Lite for him. So let's walk through some of the differences, Cam. Um, the higher end model of the two is the Pro Lite. Yes. Uh, um, higher price point model. Uh, they've got a new, basically, goalie specific carbon built into this one, yeah. uh, which I think probably contributes to some of that improved durability we heard from, from guys like Demco. Uh, walk me through some of the other differences on the Eflex 5 Pro Lite stick. So that's that Sigmatex. STG for goalie. STG for goalie. I like it. Yes. So we got our, we got our, we got a G. Yeah. <laughs> for the OG. So what I've found so far with these sticks is that what that has done is actually made the paddle a little bit more rigid. So Eflex 5 compared to Pro Light 5. Eflex 5 Pro, Pro Light. Pro Light. Pro yes. both. A little bit of a tongue twister, but I find there's actually more flux in the shaft of the stick on the Pro Light than there is on the 5. So the 5, I find I get a bit more kick out of the actual paddle itself, but here I find most of the bends coming into the shaft. We'll show that in here in a little bit of a second here. But uh, in terms of for overall pop and feel, I still feel like I'm getting a good hard shot and I can put a good lean into the weight behind the stick. However, just that flex point's different. This one's yeah. a little higher up the stick into, into the shaft, and the flex point on this continues through the paddle. But what this I is, like about it is, is that the, initial, the, initial, the original, original mix of a Negra in this one. This Correct. Is that, this has the new carbon weave. This does not. Correct. And what I do find then, though, as I go to go lean into it, I don't find the stick kind of has that buckle feel as much. So you still have a little bit more rigidity. So as I'm jamming that um, stick into the boards and trying to pull that puck out, I'm not having too much flex and feel like the paddle's bending and I feel like I can still pull it easier because that's where the shaft is. Well, one thing for sure we've noticed that like as you get up into higher levels like Junior, obviously uh, in goal founder David Hutchison, his son Maddie's now playing uh, in, in Major Junior and it does, that stiffness as much as Old man beer leaguers like myself love the flex down low. When you start playing at those higher levels, you really de do need that stiffness in terms of just, you know, stopping hard rims off guys who can hammer the puck. They really notice like that makes a difference. So, you know, if that's where you're at in your game, we're getting back for those hard rims from guys who can really shoot it matter. That might be where that rigidity down in the bottom uh, pays off. It's uh, both of them exceptionally light. Uh, we've actually had these for a while at Ingol Mag uh, and, and we're working on a review and the feedback from testers, you know, I, I, we didn't actually weigh it. I don't have the numbers in front of me. I know you don't either. But just every tester feels like it's the lightest CCM stick they've had. It is the lightest CCM stick. Then see, I have smart yes. testers yes. at Ingol Mag. And just the feel and the sort of responsiveness to it, the feedback has been really positive for us. So um, the, the, the Pro Lite with the new material, the Pro with the old, both of them, one of the things they've also done is rounded off the shaft a little bit. It doesn't have, like it's not It's not round, it's still squared, but just the edges have been rounded. So it's not, again, most breakage and composite sticks occurs on hard shots off the shaft. So why don't we give a little less of a sort of sharp corner where those pucks can hit and cause those damage issues. So maybe that's also contributed to the improved durability Correct. that we're hearing. Like I said, ours have been through the ringer, no problem so far. Um, guys like Demko, uh, goalie coach for the Vancouver Canucks, Ian Clark, telling us how much better uh, their breakage was once they went to the Eflex 5 Pro and Pro Lite. Less, less breakage, not better breakage, less breakage. I get, yeah, I get less and better. When we talk about breakage, less and better are the same, but I appreciate you correcting my grammar. One of the things, too, that has changed with, they're changing a little bit of the chemical construction of the stick, so we're getting less vibration, and there's more dampening effect to it. So I, I have found after, you know, we've taken the stick out on the ice quickly for our photo shoots. Um, as we were taking some pucks off of it, I wasn't having as much vibration up and down the stick. 
So they've changed some of, like you said, they got the nanolite carbon layering, but they've also changed some of the foams inside, again, with the, with the idea of impact reduction. So you're not feeling it in the hand. And again, our testers are saying the same thing. When I talked about responsiveness and how they like not just the lightness, but how much they sort of have feel off the blade, I think that all ties in. Correct. Awesome. So CCM EFLEX 5 Pro Lite, CCM EFLEX 5 Pro. Cam's got these ones in sort of your stock black and silver. He's got them in blue. He's got them in red. You can notice too the difference. You can see the difference in the, in the type of carbon with the Enegra and you can see it sort of in the paddle on the E-Flex 5 Pro versus the E-Flex 5 Pro Lite with the newer materials. So make sure you check out Cam Hockey Shop, hockeyshop.com. If you've got any questions about which one of these two models suit your game, what he's got in inventory in terms of um, paddle length, colors, two curves, blade price, curve. Crawford. He's holding the price, I'm holding the Crawford. Give you a look at that, a little Crawford. A little carry. Super scientific. So I got a couple of custom colors in the E-Flex 5. Those are up available right now. You can check them out. Once again, thehockeyshop.com. Give me a call here at 604-589-8299 or 1-800-567-7790. Whether it's to me or any of my guys that work down here, we're goalies. We get we know it. the language. We can get you set up. Do you guys notice that this might be the first time we've actually done a stick video where I didn't hit them with one? It's a very, it's a, it's a friendlier show now here on the... Uh, in goal hockey shop gear returns so no no i'm I, I, i've solved the anger issues cam come back he'll be here when you uh call him when you got any questions about the new eflex 5 pro and pro light stick i'm not gonna hit you that's why I'm